One of the cool pieces of technology that's sort of a closely held secret um, that Adobe has released as part of their MovieStar Flash Player upgrade is this new VP6 profile called uh, VP6S. So in addition to the H.264 support, which everybody's really excited about as well, uh, there's actually a new profile of the, the Onto VP6 that's supported in MovieStar as well called VP6S, which is actually a reduced complexity profile that allows a better playback experience for HD content on most computers, uh, especially compared to H.264, which is a fairly complex codec and can actually require some pretty significant CPU cycles to play back effectively. So one of the things we're showing here at Max is this new VP6S capability in a 720p environment for playing back true HD content, meaning true 1280 by 720 material, not material at a lower bit rate that's, that's scaled up, but true 720p material um, playing back over the web. So for this demo, we're going to start with uh, with actually something that isn't true 720p, but looks really good in 720p, just to give you an idea. This is actually a, a 480p image, so this is just standard def being blown up to 720p. Uh, and you can see you can see it's some of the jaggies in the image and everything, but this is less than one meg. This is actually 960 kilobits per second. Um, so at full 720p, for less than a megabit of throughput, it's still pretty decent quality. So now what I'm going to do, this is, VP6? this is VP6S, the new VP6 reduced complexity uh, capability. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from this, and I'm actually going to go to real 720p, and we're going to go to a 1.7 megabit stream, which still isn't huge, uh, especially in this day and age of broadband availability. And we'll see what that, uh, what that looks like in full screen. So this is real 720p now being delivered through the Flash Player. This isn't uh, an adjunct to the Flash Player. This is actually a full screen Flash Player. And we're delivering a full 1280 by 720 at 1.7 megabit at 30 frames per second. And that also looks pretty stunning. The final thing I want to show you is a full 3.5 megabit per second, which when you think about what a broadcast HD stream is at somewhere around 18 megabits per second, 3.5 megabits is really a much smaller image. And I'm going to show you that in our new VP6S playing back again at full 30 frames per, seven, per second, 720p resolution. Um, and you're going to see here, basically, this is where VP6S really shines. If you tried to play back uh, an H.264 image at 3.5 megabits per second on most PCs at 30 frames per second, you're not going to get it. You know, most of them you're going to see a lot of jittering, a lot of stuttering, uh, and the primary reason is because of the fact that it's a very complex overhead, uh, a complex codec and requires a lot of CPU overhead to play back efficiently. So this is really why Adobe has put VP6S into this new movie star release of Flash Player to give most users a much better playback experience for high definition content, especially at high frame rates and high data rates, which is really what you're going to need to get a really good playback experience, especially for downloaded material. You can use VP6S for any content you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be for high definition. The advantage of VP6S certainly becomes more apparent at the high definition, high data rate uh, type of environment, but you can certainly use it for any of the content. This will play back effectively on uh, as little as a 1.8 gigahertz uh, processor with no problem. VP6S is actually a reduced complexity profile of VP6. So it's a, it's a profile that we've supported all along as part of the VP6 architecture that essentially um, reduces some of the mathematical complexity of the compression algorithm itself, thus reducing the amount of CPU overhead required to play it back. With MovieStar, they've added the capability to play back VP6S based FLVs um, to the player and to the server architecture for, for delivery. VP6S support has always been in Flash Media Server, it just hasn't been you know, available um, at this level in the Flash Player and in the, the encoding tools. And that's where you know, we're, we're working closely to make both the encoding tools available and Adobe's obviously putting the support in the player as well. Well, you know, it's certainly something that Adobe has said that they're working on as well for AMP, and that's one of the key features of AMP. Um, we already work with a company called Widevine to produce, um, you know, 
capabilities in the encrypted area. Uh, Widevine themselves actually can wrap uh, a flash file for delivery and protect the flash file for delivery. And we're, we're working closely with them to do some, some better things going forward in terms of uh, encrypting content at the encoding side and those sorts of things. But, uh, but yeah, I think you know, AMP with encryption and with uh, you know, digital rights management built in is certainly going to create a much bigger market now for, uh, for flash-based content, especially for offline content where people want to carry it with them. a complement of VP6E. Uh, it's yet another choice that people have for creating content. VP6E is also actually reduced complexity compared to H.264 and is yet another version of codec that's available within the Flash player. It's also compatible with a lot of the content that's now being created for the new Flashlight 3 player which is being distributed by Adobe uh, for mobile devices. So if you want to have the same content being delivered across all mobile devices and PCs, VP6E is actually the choice for right now. continuing to develop in which will support up to 1080p resolutions. Uh, of course, uh, the higher the resolution you get and the uh, more the frame rate, uh, the more the encoding complexity, and that's again where the VP6S is really becoming more and more of a necessity for playback of those types of streams. Well, you can do green screening on the fly today as long as you have you know, the ability to pull a real-time key you know, with whatever your capture software is that you're using. But as long as you can get that key in real time, and, and, and you know, it's, it's not hard to do if you've got a green screen type of environment, then you can pass that into the encoder with the alpha, and then that encoder can just pass that alpha channel straight through um, to the server. Uh, which then you know, makes its way to the player and then of course you can do whatever you want once it gets into the player at that point. So that's, that capability is actually here today. Combining that capability with HD is actually quite easy as well. Um, the trick becomes to actually encode an HD stream in real time. Um, you know, playback is certainly the, the issue here that we've solved with VP6S as far as playing back HD content. When you get into encoding HD content in real time, then you really have to start because encoding is a much more CPU intensive task than playback is. So there's where you know you really have to have a very beefy PC in order to do a real time encoding. If you want to do anything with Alpha Channel and Flash today, you still have to use the VP6 formats, VP6S and VP6E.